and welcome to my channel. I'm Lorena, Lorena Creole. And in this video, we are going to have a wonderful time listening to the story of Christmas traditions in France as told by Père Noël over in the France Pavilion in Epcot located in the Walt Disney World Resort. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, during the festival, there are various storytellers at different pavilions around the World Showcase at Epcot. And these are a great reflection of the different holiday, well, I will say Christmas traditions specific to certain countries. But before we get started, please do your girl a favor and please hit that subscribe button. And when you do hit subscribe, also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when your girl has hot, fresh content such as this for you to enjoy. So as I stated earlier, we are going to be looking at some footage from the French storyteller of Christmas, of course, Père Noël, over in the France Pavilion. Père Noël will actually get to read a letter from a little girl named Babette, who seems quite concerned that her brother does not believe in Christmas. So let's see um, exactly how Père Noël handles this particular uh, letter. Excusez-nous, s'il vous plaît! Eh, hey, bonjour! Hey, Excusez-nous! That's what you. Ah non, joyeux Noël, mes amis! Joyeux Noël! Excusez-nous! Bonjour! I'm with you, Noël! He's quite thin. Excusez-nous, ce matin, j'ai rencontré en train de toi, grand roi, qui a le ton voyage ce matin. Je rencontre en train de toi, grand roi, de ce grand chemin. Et bonjour! Bonjour! Can we all say that? Bonjour! Bonjour! Très bien! And as we say in my country, joyeux Noël! That means Merry Christmas! Merci! Now, let me ask, do you know who I am? Oui, ma chère, je suis le Père Noël, Father Christmas. I am the good spirit of this season. It's a joy for me to see all of you in such good spirits. Now, I have another question for you. Have any of you, or your petit enfant, eh? have you ever written a letter to my brother Santa Claus at the North Pole? Hmm? Oui. You big people, you can admit this too. Oui. <laughs> well, in France, if a child writes a letter to me, Père Noël, and puts a return address on the envelope, the French government pays the postage for my reply. <laughs> Not bad, eh? I get so many letters. I would like to share with you one of my favorites. It come to me from a lovely little girl named Babette. She lives with her old uncle Louis and her brother Francois on a farm near Le Beau in the mountains of Provence. Electra, he will give you a bit of the, the flavor of the holiday season in France. Écoutez, uh, the sun. <laughs> Dear Père Noël, even though my brother Francois says Christmas is for babies, uh, I look forward to la vie du petit Jésus 
and a visit from you. Of course she does. The watch night, ah, the watch night, Christmas Eve, eh? the watch night. The watch night is a magical evening when my family and I sit in front of the fire, sipping outsider, and Uncle Louis tells the story of the birth of the baby Jesus. Uh, she then goes on to say that her, her brother teases her about all this. He does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Père Noël. But for me, nothing surpasses the magic of the watch night. But the fragile beauty of a child's face on Christmas morning. Hmm? Hello. With Christmas still several days away, Uncle Louis secretly decorated the tree. And Francois, uh, I bet to set up the crash. Uh, you know this word? Crash? The nativity scene. One of the most important symbols of Christmas to the French. Even though it was invented by an Italian. <laughs> He's okay too. <laughs> now, you know the figures that go into the crash, yes? Mary and Joseph, the wise man, the little, the little drummer boy, huh? Well, where Bebe come from in Provence, the statues one makes for the nativity also include people from your village. The baker, the priest, little figures made out of clay called Santon. That means little saints. And Babette's wish for Christmas last year was she would get yet another Saint-Ton to put into the nativity scene. As if it too was going to worship the baby Jesus. It's a nice custom, no? Last year Babette was finally old enough to go to midnight mass with Uncle Louis. Oh, it was very beautiful as Uncle Louis carried a newborn lamb to the priest to symbolize the Lamb of God and then put it into a little cap for Babette to pull around the church for everyone to see with shepherds playing flutes and drums. Then, after the Mass, they go home for the Réveillon, the Big Supper. Who likes to eat at Christmas time, eh? Who likes to eat all the time, eh? As the French are not different. Last year for the Réveillon, Babette, I had roast goose, pâté, le fromage. Oh, le fromage. Sounds very fancy, eh? It means cheese. <laughs> and for dessert, they had bush to know well, a cake shaped like a yule log. Even Francois likes that one. Mm, mm, <laughs> then Babette, she put the little Saint-Ton of the baby Jesus into the crash. Et enfin, the last she does before she goes to bed is to set out her shoes for me to fill with treats and goodies. Last year, Babette was a little uh, devilish. This is the shoe I find near the fireplace with her name on it. <laughs> if this is Babette's shoe, she's a grand Pierre, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Next morning, <coughs> Christmas Day, Papa, oh, she jumps out of bed, she rubs her eyes, she wakes up little Francois to go with her to see what I have put under the tree. Oh, Francois, he takes his time. He does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Père Noël, remember? But when the children go, Who's a tree? They discover an amazing thing. 
Not one, but three sand time. Two more even than my little friend had wished. Only one is carved to look like her Uncle Louis. And not her look just like her brother. Out in Thrones world. And another look just like sweet little puppet Elsa. To conclude, Herr Lettra, so you can see, I think Christmas is a very magical day. All I wish is a Christmas tree, Saint and you, Père Noël, love Barbet. Oh. It's very sweet, no? And that, mes amis, that is a small taste of a French Christmas, seen through the eyes of a delightful little child. A, uh, a sneaky one. <laughs> <laughs> But a delightful one nonetheless, huh? Eh? Oh, do you know? Can you believe I have just received a letter from... Can you guess who from? Francois? Francois! He emailed me this morning! <laughs> so, I think he believes you not there no more now. Just a little bit too, huh? Eh? And what of you? Do you believe in Père Noël? Oui. Yeah. yeah, do you believe in Christmas? Yes. Romeo, then say with me, Merry Christmas in the language of my country. It is Joyeux Noël. Oh, two, trois. Joyeux Noël. Yeah, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you Merry Christmas and Good New Year, everyone. Oh, merci, you sont très gentil, merci. Thank you Yeah, we have a few moments for the photograph. If anyone wishes a photograph of it, you know, we will make a line now over here. You big people can do this too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can? <laughs> 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 <laughs>